So let's say you chose the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D over the 9800X 3D because you're a gamer, but also you primarily do video editing, 3D modeling, productivity stuff. So what's next? Motherboard, RAM, and GPU. Let's start with the GPU because that's very important for this CPU. One advantage Intel has always had over AMD CPUs is the H.264, H.265, 4.22 10-bit hardware acceleration. AMD doesn't have that on their CPUs. Intel does. But you know what now has it? The 50 series GPUs by NVIDIA. The 5080 is definitely a great choice. Oh man, it's heavy. Oh, timber. But the 5090 with all of its VRAM and extra encoders, that's the pick. And it does have that hardware acceleration. The new AMD Radeon 9070 and 9070 XT GPUs don't have that hardware acceleration for that codec. And if you're into video editing, that can be kind of important because it's six times faster on the 50 series over the 40 series. Now, motherboard selection is going to be key depending on your workflow needs. That's going to be the primary reason for choosing a motherboard. Gaming, it's easier, but production, that's a bit different. For example, the Asus ProArt X870E Creator Wi-Fi, Creator in the name, for a couple of reasons. One, both of these slots here are PCIe Gen 5.0 by 16. Dual GPU support, meaning the more GPUs you have in rendering, the faster your render times are. Time is money. Dual LAN, 10 gig and 2.5 gig, or maybe you need 10 gig and 5 gig. Really depends on your home network. Or maybe you're just doing away with ethernet altogether and going with a Wi-Fi 7, 10 gig mesh system. Well, the 10 gig that is wired, but that's the back end. Wi-Fi 7 is dumb fast. 18,000 right there. Actually, stay tuned for a full review on these Asus Wi-Fi 7 routers. And in choosing a motherboard with Wi-Fi 7, make sure it's the full Wi-Fi 7, 320 megahertz. That's where you get those robust speeds. And if you want all the bells and whistles, you can go for it something like, yeah, that. But that, that's, let's just put this back for now. And then RAM selection. Depending on your workflow, you actually may need a lot of RAM or fast RAM. It really depends on what you're doing. And lastly, something else to think about for those that are in the production workflow, if you need those 16 cores, a Threadripper may be up your alley as well, as you get extra PCIe lanes, very fast speeds, and you can game on a Threadripper too. I mean, my primary system is a Threadripper 7970X, 32 cores, 64 threads. But I cannot stress this enough, if you're only gaming, the Ryzen 7 9800X3D is the high-end build that you want you'll be wasting money getting the 9950X3D. It's a lot more money, and in some games, it's underperforming this very capable gaming CPU.